Okay, let's get into some load testing here. What I'm gonna do is take a look at this project called Docker Flask Locust. It's in my GitHub repository, Noah Gift. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up Cloud9 again. This is my you know, favorite environment here. I've already got one open, it's called Docker Build. And I've already checked out this repo and you can see where you're at if you go to get remote-v. Uh, this will give you the access to the get repo that you're in. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a very simple load test application that could be later used for a larger system, uh, but, but the logistics here are, are really gonna be similar no matter what your microservice is. So first, I'll build a Hello World Flask application. So just a few lines of code, I import the Flask module, I go through here and I create, create one route. All it does is run Hello World. Let me show you how it runs. If I type in Python app.py, you can see it's gonna run in foreground mode and it's also gonna run on port 8080. Now, one of the things that's interesting about the Cloud9 environment is that you do need to expose any port you wanna interact with via the security groups. So I'm gonna go over to this uh, EC2 instance here and I'm going to look at the security groups and I'm gonna find this Docker build instance I've got running, which uh, is right here. And I'm gonna ensure that the ports that I need to interact with are open. So um, I've already done that, uh, but I'll, let me show you how you would do that. You would click on edit, and you can see that I've exposed port 9090 to everybody. I've exposed port 8089, uh, and I've also exposed port 8080. So these are all some ports that uh, I, I'm gonna use in, in different capacities while I'm developing my Flask app. And, and it means that I can later then connect to that instance. And how would I connect? Well, I'll then go to the Instances tab here, and you can see that this instance is running. That's that uh, AWS Cloud9 instance. And if I select it, uh, you can see that, in fact, I can just copy this to Clipboard. This is the public DNS address, and I can create a new tab, and I can go over here and type in colon 8080, and this should give me access to that Flask app. There we go, hello world. Uh, so if I go back to my console, look, I can see that uh, I was actually, a, a web request went in, and if I go back here again and refresh it, you can see that a, a nether request has gone in. So pretty powerful workflow inside of Cloud9, and immediately we can, we can really get to work and start testing things out. Well, the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to a Locus file here. So I'm gonna create a file called Locus file, and I've already uh, created this previously, and I say from locus import HTTP locus task set between, and all I'm gonna do here is I'm going to create a function that is gonna retrieve the, the main route here, which is just this, this hello world route. And I'm gonna create a user behavior, and, and really this is just boilerplate code, and then I'm gonna put it inside of this class website user, and I'm gonna inherit from HTTP locus. So you don't really need to know about how to create these. This is kind of boilerplate code. And if you wanted to make more of them, you could you know, potentially copy this code and make another route and then um, put it uh, inside of here as a task. Uh, but in our case, what this is gonna do is gonna allow us to run this command called locus. Uh, and I've installed that via this requirements file here. So I have flask pylint locus. Uh, and I've already covered that in previous videos about how you can create a virtual environment and I'm inside a virtual environment and, and do an install. So how do I run this and test this out and get this uh, running locally here? Well, what I can do <clears throat> is that uh, I can uh, kill this right here, kill this process and uh, uh, start, start, this, uh, start this app again. So we'll go Python app. And then what I can do is, in another window here, uh, I can just type in the word locus. And what this does is it actually looks for a file called locus file, and it starts to run it on port 8089. That's why I opened up that other port. If we go to that port, you can see here that uh, here's port 8089. If I refresh that, it asks me when I first log in, 
how many users do I want to simulate? So this is a really powerful tool here. I can say uh, I want to do, let's say, 10 users, and I want to launch another user every second. There we go. And the host, well, what's the host going to be? It's going to be the same host that I'm on, but it's going to be the port 8080. So I'm going to paste that in there and just take this out and say port 8080 because that's the port that uh, Flask is running on uh, right here in this terminal. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. We'll start swarming. And immediately you can see here that it starts to show the statistics of uh, all the different requests. And if I look at charts, it'll actually start you know, building these charts out in, in real time here. Uh, so uh, really, really powerful tool to use uh, Locust to test a, a microservice. You could then containerize your app and test it in the container. You could then put it into Kubernetes and then have Kubernetes automatically do spawning. So this is a very powerful technique that is really uh, straightforward to do and uh, go ahead and get started.